Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bear channel where there's only fun decoding and no financial advice. Woo! Bah, 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 bah. So, so, so. My last video was talking about the Anchor Wallet and all that. First, I want to say I have total respect for the decoders out here that are on YouTube. Okay? 100%. Total respect, okay? Just want to say, I ain't trying to talk down on nobody. I'm just pointing out different angles. That's all. I'm not saying my angle is right. I'm just saying there could be a possibility that that can happen, okay? Again, this is for you really to go do your own research and figure out if this is something that you should do for yourself. Now, anchoring, I don't think is a bad thing, Okay? Like I said, these people have mentioned the Anchor Wallet. Some people use the Anchor Wallet. Um, other people are using the Anchor Wallet. Using the Anchor Wallet is... I don't see it being a harmful thing to do. Anchoring your wallet, I don't see it being harmful to do. Do you need to do it? I have no idea. I really don't. Okay? I'm not going to be the one to tell you that you have to do this. Because I don't. What I will tell you is that you have to make sure that you do your full research on what you need to do, okay? Because at the end of the day, the way I did mine, anchoring, wasn't the same way as everybody else is doing it. It was a little bit different. I still have my keys out there. I don't have a, a separate private key. And you know what? I can be possibly totally wrong for what I'm doing, okay? And if I lose out, I'm comfortable with that, with that loss, because that's my own decision, okay? That's why I'm not giving no financial advice. I'm just giving a different angle. And I'll be honest with you, most likely, the other people are most likely right, and I'm probably wrong. But I wouldn't want to not highlight a different angle, because like we said, anything can happen. And Rick is not wrong by saying what he has said, okay? about quanti you know proofing your tokens like you can do that and that's fine that's beautiful but just to do your own research okay most likely I'm probably wrong but just wanted to highlight some of the things out here that you should just pay attention to okay that's all and that being said again shout out to Rick and Starship because they put in a lot of time to do their decodes Regardless, you know, right or wrong or where we are, they have heavy receipts to show, you know, what they're saying has some <laughs> some life to it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. OK, you guys decide what you're going to be doing with your wallets or whatever the case is. OK. And then again, I'm not saying by you doing that and you removing your tokens off the web off and going on to something else. They are going to deny you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that that can be a possibility. Just make sure that if you are too confused, make sure you answer, you ask questions. That's it. Okay? Let's get that out the way. Now, I'm going to just show you a few things because I've been digging. Because anchoring is something that I didn't notice until I came across Rick's video. So, now that that's been out there, now you start to look for things. So, I'm just going to show you a few things that I noticed... In a few clips, and that's it. Again, I'm not here to tell you that you should anchor, that you're not. I'm just going to say that I don't see in any harm on doing it. And you do how whatever you like. You want to import your your keys from WebOff and do it like that? Do it like that if you feel comfortable. If not, do it the way. Create an account, move them over, get another set of keys, and then move them back. So... Like I said, do your own research and do your own uh, thinking for yourself. This is your future, okay? This is your future. So, that being said, let's go now and let's go look at some of these things with anchoring. Now, we're going to go to Little Fockers, okay? I show you Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, right? I did a little clip on that. This is Little Fockers, okay? Part three. Now, I want you to see what it says here. And living the dream. Living the dream, okay? Got Apple. Now, we know that we've been waiting for Apple to come on board, right? They got the genius bar. They got the Adam sign. Just saying. 
but as you can see, you got the apple. Okay, you got the twin shots here. The twins. He had twins in this movie. Okay, he had twins in this movie. But let's get ready for it. Um, this is twin's name, Henry. I believe he's the founder of Adam or Proton, one or the other. But I believe Henry is a um, a discovery, a discoverer for that. And Sam uh, reminds me of Uncle Sam. Okay, cryptocurrency, big taxes. A lot of money to be made, a lot of money to be paid. Here's my flower day. I don't know. I just see a flower there. Okay. But again, the living and living the dream. Apple and let's pull back with the proton. Now, I hope we're going to be living the dream with this particular asset. Okay. When these guys come on board and everything moves accordingly. All right. Okay. Who was telling you about Pac-Man? Huh? Chomp 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 back man pack man pack man pack man chomp 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 Now here's the part where Kevin is Skyping, right? Kevin is Skyping with Stella, okay? Who's the chick? She's coming with circles, okay? Coming with circles. That looks like donuts. Donuts we relate that to banks, metal pay. You know how this goes, all right? There's your donuts over there. But there's the boat. There's the ship, okay? Anchoring stuff. Get ready. Here it is. You always know exactly the right thing to say to me. You always know the right thing to say. My anchor. My anchor. Okay. This is a guy, and he's, this is her name. Her name is Pam, okay? This is just what I see. I'm not saying I'm right. This guy is saying my anchor. You're my anchor. Her name is Pam. P-A-M. I don't know if Pam is an acronym for Proton Anchor Wallet, because the M will flip to a W. And we have P-A-W like Paw. P-A-W like Paw. Paw Patrol. Marshall's the main pup, Paw Patrol, P-A-W, Proton Classic, Anchor Wallet. Could be, I don't know, I'm just having fun, all right? Keep your panties on. But just wanted to show you that I did see this in the Anchor. I would seen this. It was kind of weird, all right? Funny enough, he says that he breaks up with um, whoever he was engaged with, and she's apologizes like oh she feels bad for him and he's basically says oh you know the right things to say to me my anchor so can that be something i don't know this is for you guys to figure out okay but this is pam and i'm gonna say one thing okay we were talking about the 50th state right hawaii you know what happened on 8 8 okay now the storm was called dora we know dora has a talking map if i'm not mistaken right a map M-A-P, flip the map, and you get P-A-M, Pam. Just an observing thing. Just observing something. And I showed you how they were talking about Hawaii in here, right? The 50 fuckers. Um, the mother was massaging De Niro on the table. She says something about Hawaii. Anyway, this is just this little part on the anchor. Just to show you. So you can go watch the little fuckers. Like I said, he has twins. The twins represent the Twin Towers. If you don't believe me, let me show you. You know the Twin Towers? You know what happened there? And you know who was the president there. <laughs> now you see this movie here? Pacific Rim? Over here? You see Pacific Rim over here, right? It's a movie. The rigid foot anchors are used to secure the Jaggers. If you watch the movie, you know the Jaggers. It's all about kind of like Godzilla, King Kong type shit. But here's another thing of anchors, okay? I want to play you a little scene. I just want you to show you Pacific Rim. Those robots, those big bots, anchor their feet into the floor. Okay. Here's Pacific Rim here. Let me get rid of... Uh the image here. No. These are the machines. These are the big robots. And they anchor their foot in here. This is a bridge, okay, that they're fighting in front of. All right? Oh, let me not trip. 
Just want to show you something. He gets kind of saved. I don't know. Boom. You hear that? There's an anchor. That is a bullard. A bullard is a chunk of metal, like a knuckle of metal, that they tie the rope to anchor a ship when it docks. I want you to listen to when the back heel hits the bullard. Listen. Clink. You hear that clink? And it's not there. You stop the beast. You know what? I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. Plasma cannon powering up. Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim with the anchoring foot. And if you wanted to ask, why did I pick the movie Pacific Rim? Well, for starters, they wear a suit. And the suit reminds me... The suit that they wear to fight in the robots reminds me of the same suit in Ready Player One. That's for starters. And for seconds, and for seconds... Marshall, Marshall. Marshall, Marshall. Marshall's in here. And Anchoring's in here. I don't know what to tell you guys. All I know is I'm just showing you what's in the movies. I ain't telling you to do anything. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have fun. All right, here's the next part. I'm going to show you another anchoring. This time I want you to use your ears, okay? I want you to use your ears. Now I'm going to show you something from The Simpsons. Somebody takes something off a boat and he drops a nut. Barney takes the telescope and he drops the nut. It doesn't sound too much of a coin. But when Homer takes the anchor and drops his bolt, I should say the bolt. When he drops his bolt, his bolt sounds like a coin. And it's an anchor and he puts it in his pocket. Now I'm going to show you. I want you to listen. Okay. I want you to listen to the bolts when they drop. Listen to the bolt. Sounds like a coin. See how his sound like a coin? I'm gonna replay it again. Listen for the bolt. Listen. See how his sounded like a coin? And he has his in his pocket. And he has his in his pocket. Like I said, I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to do it. You... Look at the videos on how to do it and do whatever you feel is comfortable for yourself. Okay? I'm just having fun just showing you a few clips on anchors and anchoring. Who knows? And one last thing. Before I go anywhere else, don't sleep on Stella. Don't sleep on Stella. I'm just saying I believe Proton is the one. Proton is the phoenix. Now... Look at this shot. You can pause it all you want. There's all the people here, okay? They're all wearing pajamas, all right? There's only one person wearing a onesie. Two people actually wearing a onesie. But you got this guy right here. You know who that guy is. He's wearing a onesie. And he has a zipper on there as well, on his onesie. Nobody else has a zipper. Nobody else has a zipper on their, on their pajamas. Nobody has a zipper on it, except for this little guy. And that little guy reminds me of that big guy. Okay? So just to show you over here, so that's a zipper. Got zip it, wall anchors, if you know what that means. Okay, zip ties, anchors. All right, I mean, just playing around. I don't know, there's a number five there. Could it be May? Could it not be May? I don't freaking know, just having fun. And that's really about it. All right. So thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing. And again, I'm not here to tell you what you need to be doing with your stuff. I'm just telling you that you need to just make sure you have an open mind and do what makes you feel comfortable. And again, I'm not saying that the videos that I'm making about anchoring is correct, okay? I will say this. I know, um, I was told that the, Al the anchoring wallet is connected to Alcor wallet and Alcor, uh, the Alcor exchange, I'm sorry. 
in the Alcor exchange, we know pretty much has all um, web auth wallet assets on there. So that being said, just want to make things more clearer. You can probably, you might, I don't say probably, you might, most likely, it's probably possible that you can move over your web auth wallet tokens over to your anchoring wallet and then probably back over there. Most likely, you probably can do that. I would just wanted to make a point stating that there could be a possibility because there's always some type of trickery thing that goes down, okay? And like I said, anything can happen. If they want to state that moving your tokens from the web off, um, I mean, I'm just saying, they can change it at any time. Right now, it can look kosher. Tomorrow, it might not. So, you know, I did anchor, okay? If everyone's curious, I did anchor. Um, but you guys do what you please, okay? It's your money at the end of the day. It's your future that you're trying to secure. So you do whatever it is. And I will say that I heard numerous times, many times, um, people ask the CEO about, you know, what wallet is the best wallet? And they all claim that WebAuth wallet is the best. It is also FDIC insured. Um... I don't know. Somebody also asked me about if you get hit with an EMP, if you're going to have the tokens. I, I guess if you still have your keys, you can still recover the tokens. I'm just thinking an EMP is just going to knock out power and you won't be able to use the power of the Internet at the moment to get on to do anything with your crypto. But your crypto should still be there when the power comes back on or however they're going to get the power back on. So I don't think the EMP is going to wipe out the wallet. The EMP is going to wipe out the power and like how we do things electronically. Um, who knows? It, it might destroy. I don't know. I have really have no idea. It could maybe destroy the whole device and everything. You know, but like I said, if you have your keys, I don't see why it shouldn't. It shouldn't be found if you still have your keys properly stored. So anyway. That's it for now. Thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing. And Bully Bears out.